Good evening. I'm here with Julianne Nguyen to discuss the topic about Rosie Ruiz and the Boston Marathon. Uh, the Boston Marathon is without a doubt one of the best racing events in history. This also happens to be the world's oldest annual marathon, which in order to compete, you need a qualifying time. The Boston Marathon draws in over 500,000 people, spectators, and runners alike which takes on the course of 26.2 miles. My topic discusses Rosie Ruiz, taking us back to April 21st, 1980. She completed the infamous Boston Marathon in record time in just over two and a half hours. Let me give you some brief history of Rosie prior to the event. Rosie was born in Havana, Cuba and moved to the States with her family when she was just eight years old. She went to college in Nebraska and eventually settled in New York where she found a job. In New York, she qualified for the New York City Marathon by making up a bogus excuse about the deadline because she entered late about a brain tumor and somehow entered the race. With the qualifying time that she got in the New York City Marathon, she was able to complete, compete in the Boston Marathon. Uh, so my topic discusses Rosie Ruiz um, completing the marathon in two and a half hours, which after a post-race interview uh, appeared for Rosie to be in perfect condition without barely any sweat and her hair seemed perfectly intact seemed a little strange for a person who just ran 26.2 miles. How did she make it? Let's find out. Um, as a runner myself, I was highly interested in the topic. I was already aware of the situation, but I didn't know the full details and the full extent of Rosie's story. Um, so I read articles here and there, but wanted to get a deeper understanding. I myself have never completed a full marathon, but I have run a various distance ranging in half marathons, which are 13 miles, um, to Spartan races, which are obstacle courses, and Tough Mudders, which are the same as well. Um, so pretty much with every run, you kind of train at interval speeds, 10 minutes here, three minutes off, 12 minutes there, four minutes off, depending on the runner. Usually that would give you the best result while you are competing. Um, with every obstacle and every race, there's no way you would finish a, a marathon the way you started with everything intact. That would just would not happen. Um, so I found Rosie's situation to be very interesting. How could she finish the race without a gleam of sweat? Upon further speculation, other people came forward and claimed to see her on the subway. The first and second place leaders claimed that Rosie couldn't have passed them without being noticed. She didn't appear in any additional footage of the event, which leads us to the event, uh, which leads us to believe that she did in fact cheat her way to victory. Um, during a post-race interval, she claimed to not even know what an interval was. Finally, after an investigation was launched, two students recalled seeing Ruiz burst out of a crowd of speculators um, half a mile from the finish. Rosie faced a great deal of ethical dilemmas throughout the chain of events. To even qualify for the New York City Marathon, she used a fabricated excuse to enter her way into the race. I don't know what kind of person does that. I don't know how you'd be able to even sleep at night without an excuse. Moving from New York City to the Boston Marathon, she cheated her way through the crowd, ran onto the scene, used a subway to get to the finish line, and even in enjoyed in the victory. She lied, she cheated, and pretty much she did the same thing over and over. Probably did it for a couple other races as well. The history of events do not rule in Rosie's favor in regards to her character and morale. I believe this repeated pattern of behavior kept reoccurring because Rosie either she yearned for attention or quite possibly just because she knew she could get away with it. The Boston Marathon is still one of the most highly anticipated events 
throughout the year here in America. I actually even thought about competing for it once too. But to run the race, you need at least two years of training and proper nutrition and diet, which uh, we don't really have all the time in the world for. After f further researching my topic on Rosie, I thought it was very impressive how she fooled the nation into thinking she had won the Boston Marathon and in record time too. However, of course, upon further investigation, the world unraveled her secret. She cheated her way to, the, to victory. I can never imagine putting myself into her shoes. Were her actions immoral? Mm, yes. Were they ethical? Definitely not. She repeatedly lied and cheated her way to victory. But she did fool us just for a second. 